I'm going to show you how to perfectly align your separately recorded audio and video with Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the AudacityPodcast.com. If you want the best audio quality for your videos and you have a good video camera, then what you really need to do is record with something other than the built-in microphone on the camera. Here's a video that I recorded with my Canon T4i, and I did two separate audio recordings for this. One is with the built-in camera. You can hear that audio quality here. And you can see a little height comparison here, and the bars. It's echoey, there's a lot of hiss in the background. It's just not very good audio quality. But I'm also wearing a lavalier microphone in this video, and it's wired to a Zoom H4n recorder in my back pocket. So that gets much better audio quality. Here it is from that lavalier microphone. On this heavy duty stand are much bigger than the bars on the standard soft bar. It sounds so much better. The audio quality is better. There's not as much echo. There isn't any hiss in the background or barely as much. But the problem, and you may have noticed that if you look very closely, but I'll point this out to you. The problem is that I didn't start both of these recordings at the exact same instant as each other. So my audio recording is slightly a little misaligned. I started the video recorder first, and then I pressed the button on the audio recorder. So I ended up with slightly misaligned audio, and you can see that here in my count off sequence. So I'll unmute both tracks and you can hear. Three, two, Two, one. One. So I'm, I'm off significantly here. There are two ways that you can do this, but one way for absolute precision, a way that you can align these very easily with Adobe Premiere Pro is you select the clips you want to align, then you go to the clip menu and choose synchronize. We'll choose audio as our synchronization point and mix down is fine or you can choose a specific track to which you want to align click ok it compares these things it figures out which one lines up with what and it does its best job to line these up together so at a glance this looks like it perfectly aligned it and this is certainly much faster maybe depending on how many clips you need to align but this might be faster for you than manually visually aligning these things together but now let's play it and hear it three two, one. So you heard two snaps there and it sounded like I was a little bit of a robot voice, like someone's repeating me. There's a slight echo with my voice there. And if I mute the video camera recorded audio, then you would notice a slight lip sync problem with what I'm saying in the video and how it looks. So we need to get this perfectly aligned. Here's the problem. When I zoom all the way in, you can see now it's very obvious these aren't aligned. The blue is recorded from my video camera. The green is recorded from my audio recorder. They're not aligned, but if I place my cursor here to be able to select different points, I, I can't get in between these points. So I'll just use that as a guide. But now if I try to shift the audio track, I'll shift it one frame and there it's on the other side of the line. So I can't get it perfectly lined up here in Adobe Premiere Pro. You might think, well, the way to do this is increase the frames per second rate so that you can subdivide the frames and align them perfectly. And that's exactly what you would need to do. The problem is Adobe Premiere Pro doesn't let you customize your frame rate settings. I can come in here and choose a different frame rate, but I can't completely customize it to exactly what I want it to be. So that makes it a little bit difficult for this. That's where Adobe Audition comes in because we're going to edit this audio in Adobe Audition to add or remove a little bit of space to give us exactly the synchronization that we need. So the way to do this is if you have your WAV files assigned so that they automatically open in Adobe Audition, if you double click them, then you can just right click on this audio and choose edit original. If I were to click edit clip in Adobe Audition, it would duplicate this audio clip and then open that duplicate in Adobe Audition. So I'd end up with unnecessary duplicates. Same thing if I click that over here. So what I recommend is just open the WAV file in Adobe Audition, which is what I've done here in Audition. I now have the WAV file opened up in Audition. 
this is working with the WAV file. You can, while you're here, you can also do any kind of audio processing to enhance the sound, remove some noise, anything like that. But don't edit this, like changing things, removing things that change the time, because that'll misalign your video. What we want to do here is zoom in to the very, very fine detail of this track, because we're going to make some very precision edits here. The first thing to do to make sure that this is easy to edit is go to the edit menu and choose snap and snap to frames. This is an option you may want to disable the next time you edit audio because not snapping to frames allows you to select any amount of audio you want, but snapping to frames makes this particular edit that we want easy. The way Audition is set up by default, it might let you just free select a certain amount of audio. But what we want to do is get this in a specific format so we know exactly how far we're moving our audio track. So if I switch back to Audition and or to Premiere Pro, I flip this back and forth. It looks like it's right in the middle of a frame. So I need half of a frame. I need to delete half of a frame of audio. Sometimes the audio is a little bit more misaligned and it actually needs a quarter of a frame or three quarters of a frame instead of just half a frame. So what I like to do is since my video was recorded at 24 frames per second, I work in audition at 96 frames per second. That's 24 times four. If you recorded at 30 frames per second, then you would work at 120 frames per second. The way we change this is right click on this time code down here in the lower left corner and go to edit custom frame rate. In here, we will enter our number. So since I recorded at 24 frames per second, my video, I want this to be 96 frames per second. Then here for the time format, change that to custom 96 frames per second. You can also quickly change that display format by right clicking on this and clicking it here. But you have to go to edit custom frame rate in order to change what that frame rate is. So now this audio is set to 96 frames per second. So now as I drag my cursor, because I have the snapping on, you see that's snapping here and it's selecting a single frame out of 96 frames per second. Since we need to align our audio track by just half of a frame at 24 frames per second, that means we're wanting to remove or add, depending on which side we're on. But in this case, I want to remove two frames at 96 frames per second. So I'll, I'll go to the beginning of my audio file. I'll drag out. There's one frame. There's two frames. Delete that. Save it just exactly as it is. Then when I switch back to Premiere Pro, it will notice the change, automatically refreshes the audio, and there it looks perfectly aligned. So let's unmute this track so we can hear both tracks and then listen to them again and make sure that they are perfectly aligned. Three, two, one. That sounds perfect. I like that. Now I can mute this track or even I could delete this audio recorded from the camera completely and work with just the audio that I recorded on my separate device. It happened besides the mix up with the stand. And it will be perfectly aligned using my high quality microphone that I chose instead of the built in camera microphone from my Canon T4i or whatever camera you might be using. This works in so many cases that you'll run into. If this has helped you, please comment on the video or go to the audacitypodcast.com slash sync AV. I'd love to hear from you how this helped you. And now that I've given you some of the guts and taught you some of the tools, it's time for you to go launch or improve your own podcast for sharing your passions and finding success. I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the audacitypodcast.com. Thanks for watching.